Okay, guys. So, what do we got going on here? I'm here in New York City. I was born in New York. Uh, raised here. And I, uh, I left out uh, and we went to college in Miami. So now, you know, we're just here. We're going to leave the, uh, you know, leave the hotel and um, I'm staying in Hell's Kitchen. And uh, it's, a, it's a decent part of town. Like, if you ever stood in Manhattan, you know, it's a good it's a good area to stay at. It's close to everything. Times Square is up the street. A lot of restaurants, bars, clubs, etc., etc. You know, very centrally located. So I'm just basically kind of floating around Hell's Kitchen. And uh, I'm going to basically hit the Hudson. We got some really nice uh, views of the city. Um, I wish the camera could really, really capture what I'm looking at. And, you know, unfortunately, obviously it can't. It gets close, but it just, it just it's, it's nowhere near to what you know what it is, and and it's nice to see those nice big beautiful high rises, you know, there to my left and to the right, you know, at the uh, convention center. So um, the hotel price wasn't that bad either; uh, it was very cheap uh, for a hotel. I got it; I got it for about a hundred bucks a night. Not bad. Over here for a hotel, I'll go here for the day because I was uh, bumper traffic. I mean, it was crazy. I realized that when I had 45 minutes, so it was pretty crazy, guys. So, thank God I was close by, because if I would have stood in Brooklyn or Long Island, oh, oh man, I would have been done. Toast, toast, toast. That was actually a great decision. So, back to kind of what we're doing over here. You know, like I said, we're floating around the Hudson, and just, uh, if you ever go to this area, guys, super romantic, nice to hang out. I mean, just kind of walk around, look at the skyline of Jersey, look at the skyline Manhattan, it is uh, super nice and uh, super calm and, and just relaxing, um, beautiful sunset and stuff like that. Um, I found the area to be pretty safe. I didn't see anything that seemed out of ordinary or anything like that. So, uh, I go and check out the area. So here you got this pier here, um, a support wheel coaster. And and in that pier, um, there's you know, just more of the city, you see more of the ferries coming in and out. So you can see, see like, you know, you want to jump on the ferries, and you want to go see, like, the uh, ferries, but it's very, it's not, it's very, it's very scenic, it's very scenic, it's very scenic, very scenic, very scenic, very scenic, very scenic. So, uh, you know, we're kind of recapping our long, long, long trip. And we started from Granada, we shot up to Madrid, we took the plane over to uh, Lisbon, and in Lisbon we took that transatlantic cruise, we were supposed to get to Azori and Bermuda, but the weather was so bad, so we just get to hit that. And then from there, we're at New York City, we're hanging out maybe for the weekend, and then we shot down to Miami for a couple weeks. And then we went to Brazil for a month, two months Argentina, a week in Chile, a month in Canada, Colombia, then two weeks in Miami, and then now we're back here in New York City, and we're jumping on this uh, transit of cruise that goes all the way to Roma, two and a half week cruise, and then the price is right, so I decided to stay on even longer, so we're going to go all the way to Greece <laughs> before I go back to land in, in Spain, so I'll spend probably about a month, over like a month at sea, um, just, to, just to end this long, big tour. And let me tell you something, guys, the price is right, the price is right, it, is, it wasn't not that much, it was not that much money. Uh, okay, guys, so we just hanging out so here, I by the, the pier, we're in Hell's Kitchen, and uh, we're chilling, we're chilling, we'll see what happens, see what goes down, tomorrow we got our big cruise, so, we'll try to see if we can spot the ship, and we'll be ready guys.
nightlife, fun, and all craziness, and good food. Argentina. Dope. Argentina. God, it's a good place. Not even in Colombia, but it's just Man, food is now it is not cheap like it used to be. So, you can travel on a dime, guys, if you if you do it right. You know, just got to get those last minute deals, stay in the center of town, and pick nice, cheap countries that you can have a good time and enjoy yourself. So, you know, we go back here to kind of what we're looking at here, you know. You guys, you guys can see those nice, beautiful views as we're walking around here at the pier. And I was trying to uh, see if I will see the cruise ship, but the cruise ship actually showed up the next day, which is the same day as the sailing. And then we, we rolled out. I was getting a little worried. So I was like, man, if they cancel that cruise, I am done. Because I had these big bags, heavy bags. And um, I usually like buy clothes and all that other stuff before I head back to Europe to be prepared, you know, uh, for the rest of the year, have as much clothes as I can. So my bags were heavy. And I was just going to drop a lot of my stuff off when we get to Spain and the port there. Spain, and then I'll just go and fly in and pick it up. You know, and it's going to be easy. I can just take a, you know, bus back or something like that. But yeah, guys, it has been a hell of a time just enjoying the States, enjoying the Americas. And enjoying these transatlantic cruises, and um, I, I'll do another video, kind of just breaking out a bit more of like what I did in each country. But um, you know, have you guys ever done something like this? Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. All right, guys, we're out.